Hey, it's Mike here, and today I'm switching it up and just reacting to the most viewed shorts on YouTube that are vegan related, whether they are attacking a vegan, just making jokes about veganism, pro-vegan, anti-vegan, whatever. You know, some of these have between 10 and 40 five million views. So a lot of people have seen these, a lot of people are interested in these, which means in some way it reflects sort of pop culture society's view of veganism, which to me is interesting. And while I haven't seen most of these, there are a couple that I've seen some clips of, so I have a bit of an idea. And the negative ones I will respond to directly, and there are some positive ones. I'll shout out a couple creators that are killing it on shorts without killing animals. And I also have this little new headset with a little microphone right here, which hopefully will be clear and not distracting for you guys. So let's just go. Oh God, the Pierce Morgan Do you one. Eat avocados. I eat a plant-based diet. Do you eat avocados? I'm asking the government. Do you eat avocados? <laughs> yes. A leading study from. Do you? Eat, it's, it's, oh it's, my it's, God, it's, he's so frustrating. Like. Maybe the study was about avocados. He doesn't know. I guess he doesn't care because obviously he's trying to trap her. You, you don't just answer different questions. Do you eat avocados? I eat a plant-based diet, which do is- Do you eat avocados? <laughs> yes. Yes, you do. Pierce, do you eat avocados? Do you know how avocados and almonds get made? Absolutely. You do? Yes. Do you realize that in California every year- God, I just, just stopping really quickly because I know where he's going. He's obviously trying to drag vegans down to, to his level here. I just feel so bad for this this woman who just went on probably, you know, I, I don't know how much she thought she was gonna get a fair conversation. And then of course, Pierce Morgan just wants to like drag her through the mud. And it says 2 million likes. Six weeks, they fly in billions of bees to create your almonds and avocados. And your it almonds and avocados. Um, I don't think there's any evidence that vegans even eat significantly more avocados and almonds than other people. I mean, almond milk is basically almond water, fine. Maybe they have a few extra, but I'll let them keep going. In that process, several billion bees get murdered. Several like billion. He is oversimplifying what were specific bee die-offs that were reported in 2018. Generally, several billion bees don't die. As The Guardian mentioned though, beekeepers attributed the high mortality rate to pesticide exposure, diseases from parasites and habitat loss. Are vegans responsible for parasites? I don't really think so. But the direct bee killing aspect is the heavy use of Roundup and things like neonicotinoids when the bees are pollinating. And choosing organic almond milk would dodge that massively. Also, this seems to be a lesson we've learned from bad practices now five years ago from the California California Almond Board Director, where 80% of the planet's almonds are grown. He says, screw it, kill all the bees, I don't care. Just kidding, he actually said, it's extremely important that almonds remain a good and safe place for bees because we require so many of them. You know, same would be for avocados. I also, it's like, he doesn't need to cite anything. He doesn't cite anything because, you know, it's just a, a sound bite that people will like to hear. Oh, several billion bees are killed so vegans are killing helping to kill at least billions of bees they're wrong so i'm just going to keep eating meat and killing animals directly and purposefully to whatever level i want funny i'd like to respond bees like getting no sweet. you're not going to get any chance to respond here <laughs> what are you giggling away like it doesn't matter whilst destroying it's not giggling away about bees dying which by the way obviously appears more Morgan does not care at all about insect life, but she's laughing because Piers Morgan is a ridiculous douchebag who's literally shouting at her. In buildings because you care so much about animals. You don't care about the little guys. Do you? Uh, vegans do. That's why they don't eat honey generally. I don't know if he's aware of that. Yes, I would love to see almost like some Jainism principles in the food supply. Do, do you think if vegans ran those almond farms and avocado farms that we would be killing as many? No, that's a large scale industrial agriculture, but as more and more people become vegan and there's more pressure to improve those things, there's gonna be even less deaths all around. And do I need to remind you that, again, people that aren't vegan eat avocados. Eat avocados. Uh. Do you poop, Pierce? Do you poop? Uh, probably not, because he doesn't get enough fiber. <laughs> if I ever have him on my show, I'm gonna corner him with that question. Move it on to this one, which is about Lizzo is lying about being vegan over a million likes. So this is gonna be interesting. Not all fat people eat burgers. I posted a video where I ate like Lizzo for 24 hours. And if you didn't know, Lizzo is vegan. But y'all, mm -hmm. I never expected the comment. And a lot of drama around Lizzo, which we don't need to focus on right now. Section to be this 
bad. Lizzo is definitely not a vegan. How is she so fat then? Something is fishy here. And the most annoying is that she- Ooh, that is interesting. They're literally like, you have to be skinny to be vegan, which is, I don't know. I mean, obviously vegans come in all shapes and sizes, depending on what type of vegan diet they eat, which can be, you know, just straight oil <laughs> and fried everything if you want. She is lying about what she's eating. First, I would like to start by saying mm. fat people can be vegan too. Just because someone chooses not to eat meat does not mean that they're automatically skinny. Second, Yeah, uh, veganism, as you know, is an ethical lifestyle. There are definitely a lot of people that try to eat a vegan diet to lose weight and be skinnier. And of course, if you're looking at BMI charts, vegans average you know normal bmi unlike other groups so yeah they are lighter which would give them that stereotype of being lighter and then of course people make fun of them for being too skinny so they get made fun of for being too skinny but then if you're bigger you get you know just claims that you aren't even vegan Secondly, I would like to say that who told you guys that vegan food was healthy? You do realize that french fries are vegan. Oreos are- Um, I actually did tell people that vegan uh, food is healthy because a lot of studies just on general vegans do show that they have lower rates of things like diabetes and, you know, 15% lower cancer. But you can also eat an unhealthy plant-based diet. We look at unhealthy plant-based diet index studies and we can see increased disease over and over again because, you know, what's an example of an unhealthy plant-based food? Sugar. So- Keeping that in mind. <laughs> vegan. No, those foods aren't bad, but they're not the healthiest and they're still vegan. And lastly, you have no idea what is going on. I would say some vegan foods literally are bad. <laughs> behind the screen for someone. Someone can be struggling with medical conditions, eating disorders, and for all we know, she could be losing weight, but that's- Yeah, you can definitely be on a binge eating disorder, uh, even on a vegan diet. You know, we have studies like this one showing lower eating disorder tendencies and, you know, better relationship with food, but, who knows? That's an individual thing. It's not our business. We have no right to comment on her body. So I am a fat person who is not vegan eating a burger. And Lizzo will probably stick to the veggie burgers. I thought it was interesting. It's nice to see a video with a bunch of likes that isn't particularly hating directly on vegans. <laughs> so that's good. And now for a quick break with today's sponsor, Seeds DS01 Daily Symbiotic. And Seed in particular has 53.6 billion active bacterial cell units from 24 different strains, which are scientifically shown to support various areas of health, including digestive health, gut barrier integrity, gut immune function, cardiovascular health, dermatological health, and more. And today we are talking about exercise and gut health as our theme. We also have this review on the whole topic, which mentions a couple cool studies on humans, like one in rugby players, which found that increased exercise was associated with an increased microbiome diversity. And they also looked at another study, which analyzed individuals at different fitness levels, eating comparable diets. And the result demonstrated that regardless of diet, the cardiorespiratory fitness was correlated with increased gut microbial diversity. And that is super interesting. So definitely get that exercise in. In addition to that, you also want to get some of that good bacteria in there. And you can do that with CSDS01, which Lydia and I have been taking since 2000. 2021, so a couple years, and Lindy and I have been loving it. And of course, if you would like to try it, you can click the link below and use the code Mike for 25% off your first month's supply. All right, let's keep going. Oh God, here we go. It's the uh, it's a Joe Rogan <laughs> clip. If you really want to kill the most things, be a vegan because the farmers who protect your beans kill everything. I kill, kill one the animal most per animal. things. In order to grow tofu, oh you have to kill tofu. Who says tofu? Well, every ground tofu. squirrel, every vole, every, every, shrew, every snake, what? every turtle, every frog, every bird, every rabbit, anything that gets in that bean field, I'm either going to plow and dismember, and then if anything does survive my first slaughter, I'm going to come in with Monsanto and poison the shit. Santo, everything Monsanto. so you can have a tofu salad and not be responsible for any death F you clearly having an aggressive uh series of claims against a vegan diet uh edited with some nice little slick editing it will get you over a million views from ted nugent but so this is a classic harvest death argument i've gone over this a bunch of times he did say though that every single animal under that soy needs to be completely destroyed. First of all, um, I think it's only like five or 6% of soy is actually directly consumed by humans. And then a small fraction of that would be vegan consumption. Although some soy loving vegans might be eating more than their fair share. But the point is that the vast majority when we're talking about Amazon destruction for soy, 
uh, that is for cattle feed, that is for other animal feed. So when you're adding the impact of directly paying to kill the animals, to have them slaughtered, and then also killing all of the animals that were killed in the plants that were grown uh, for that, yeah, you're worse off eating animals, but it's also not the case that every animal dies. You know, a study like this one that radio collared mice found that they were, when the harvest came, the combine came, would move out of the way and then likely they go back. Obviously we could be farming in a more animal friendly way, which is why more veganic farmers would be awesome and figuring that out even more so we can kill as little animals as possible would be great. I also remember that Earthling Ed has a great article on surge activism about this and you know he goes into everything and even mentions this is, he also mentions some things about ted nugent like how he called apartheid not that cut and dry and you know various other sketchy things but this is an in-depth article that goes through this argument in case you want to look at it more and there are a couple more things worth mentioning here uh yeah he's like oh i just hunt and that's how i kill animals something tells me he doesn't just like he doesn't only eat hunted animals but hunting is not something that we can just switch to in terms of our population. There's just not enough wild game. And this is just so well illustrated by this chart of wild versus farm mammal biomass. We have 15 times as much farm animal biomass. So even if people ate 1 15th of the amount of meat, we would still just obliterate and drive all wild mammals to extinction by hunting them. Also from this recent Oxford study, vegans have about 75% lower greenhouse gas emissions, but also 75% lower species extinction contribution, which reflects their you know wild animal damage. So get wrecked, Ted. And then also a lot of people are like, oh, grass fed is the best. Well, guess what? A lot of those grass fed animals are being fed harvested grass more than people would like to think but again vegans aren't perfect there's going to be an animal impact we want to you know as we get more vegans lower that more and more and more and you know vegans are the ones that care about that this guy ted nugent doesn't actually care about the mice and fields he's just using this as an argument to make vegans look bad which is frustrating but let's move on to another one Oh, it's another Joe Rogan uh, clip. I'm sorry. <laughs> Half a million likes. It's crazy that vegans won't eat chicken eggs. Like, they cannot become a chicken. It's impossible. It's still an animal product, it's, but it's coming from an animal, and obviously there's a whole system of exploitation around it, so obviously vegans don't want to eat it. I never understood how chickens, do they have to have sex? No, they lay eggs every day. If the hen f***s them, the eggs are alive, and the eggs oh. become a chick. If the rooster doesn't f*** them, then they just lay eggs. I don't have any rooster. So he's saying unfertilized eggs, uh, which the rooster wasn't involved in, you know, can't grow into an animal. And therefore, well, well, guess what? Milk can't grow into a cow, bro. And obviously vegans don't want to eat that again because it's an animal product. Like, I don't know why he doesn't understand this, but it's pretty obvious. Joe Rogan, once again, uh, you know, just gripe, just vegan gripes, which don't really matter. The next one is the dumbest vegan ever by this dude. Let's see what he says. This American woman decided to take her lovely cow out for a walk. The problem is she did this in Russia in front of the Kremlin, which is where- I think anything in front of the Kremlin, maybe right now, I don't know when this was <laughs> posted, uh, it's probably not gonna work out well for you. The Russian president is, and you know how much Russians love Americans, especially nowadays. So of course, Alicia Day was arrested right away and sentenced to 13 days in prison. Is walking a cow illegal in Russia? Yeah, so I just looked for way too long, couldn't find the specific Russian law that she broke, but you know, maybe having farm animals in like a densely populated area is against the law, I don't know. Alicia is a devout vegan whose top personality trait is uselessness. A few years ago, okay. she got evicted from her apartment in England because she insisted on living in there with a pig. And okay, um, a lot of people have lived with pigs. A lot of people have pigs as pets. I mean, Paris Hilton famously had a pig as a pet and, uh, I don't know if it was against the rules of her lease or whatever to have a pig, but uh, it's kind of not that abnormal. And this year she put this poor cow in the back of a van and drove to the Kremlin just to take a walk. Okay, interesting. We have a cow that has tags on its ear, so I'm assuming this is a rescued cow. And yep, with a quick look, this, this woman rescued that cow from slaughter and decided to actually take a walk to like, 
show at the sites. Um, interesting reasoning. I guess it's not that different than like getting a dog and walking your dog around, except that this is not a dog, which is, you know, an interesting commentary on speciesism and people are responding so differently to walking a dog to a cow, which there are, I mean, have you seen an Irish wolfhound? Probably bigger than this calf. And I saw someone walking one uh, like a month ago. She could have walked her cow anywhere else if that was her goal, but no, her goal was to be the idiot queen. Her little... I mean, okay, it, <laughs> this guy clearly is just being a douchebag, particularly to this person because they're vegan. Like, you know, if a person who wasn't vegan had a cow, like, oh, someone was on a 4-H trip and decided to bring their little cow that they're going to slaughter eventually there. Obviously, that's not going to happen. But if they did, I don't think this guy would be mad about it. I don't think he would. Stunts got her banned from Russia for 40 years, but now, surprisingly, she is appealing that decision. <laughs> and this is true. It's because she met a guard while she was in prison, and now she's convinced they're in love. Oh, romance novel. Or, hey, why not make this into a movie? I would watch it. You can't really blame her for that because there's probably never been another dude who's even been slightly interested in her. And she Okay, yeah, now this guy's just, just straight up douchey to this woman. I mean, okay, maybe she didn't make the best decision of doing anything unusual around the Kremlin. Probably not a good idea. He will do whatever she can to lock this poor guard down. Anyway, so this video with like a quarter million likes, obviously just, just ragging on a vegan like four times as hard as they would need to. Um, this person has a pet animal. They've rescued them. Yeah, it'd probably be better for them to be taken to a sanctuary out where there's some grass or something. But I don't know what her plans were. Walking in front of the Kremlin, not a good one. So this video is, there's always a vegan Karen in the group. Let's check it out. Ew, gross. You guys both got chicken shawarmas? Do you know how many chickens had to die for you guys to get your shawarma fix? Uh, yeah, I uh, probably about one or two. <gasps> Chickens had to die for us to eat our chicken shawarmas? We better send letters to the chicken's parents. <laughs> uh, of course. Making fun of vegans caring about animals. Funny guys, you guys are killing chickens. I'm pretty sure that this woman is is not vegan, in case you're wondering. <laughs> How would you feel if somebody ate you? Oh my God, all the chickens that are dying in the world. And that could happen. You guys are just sitting there laughing. How many of you guys are out there like that? Oh my God, I just can't stand you guys. Why am I even here with you? So this has at least a million likes, which means a lot of people have experienced or at least like the idea of a vegan being sort of like hysterically worried about the chickens while people laugh it off and make jokes about it. These chickens, these poor chickens. Like I think she's right. Yeah, I think so too. We got two chicken shawarmas where we should have gotten two chicken and two beef. Oh my God. Wow, so funny. I feel like some people's sense of humor is just so incredibly basic. I mean, yeah, we do raise and slaughter like 70 billion chickens a year. And I do feel like part of the reason vegans will bring it up sometimes that people are actually eating animals is because a lot of people are a little bit unaware of it. Like, yeah, they some people know, yeah, there's an animal here, but they try to forget it. We create so many steps between us and the slaughterhouse. You already know all of that, but it's just, Again, the most interesting part is just why so many people liked this and thought it was funny. It really just just because vegans rub people the wrong way. I think that has to do with their own guilt about killing animals and then, you know, sarcastically laughing it off, of course, is one way to deal with that. Cognitive dissonance, which is technically that uncomfortable feeling when your beliefs and your actions don't align. And of course, you know, the belief that you're an animal lover and then you eating them is is that. Anyway, on to the next vegan tries me, you know, about a quarter million likes. Let's see what she says. Watch me become a fake vegan. I've been a vegan for like a thousand billion fake years vegan. since 2019, and I hardly- A thousand billion years? Uh, since 2019? Uh, yeah, that's like uh, three, four years. Um, I've been vegan for like at least 12. Ever eat meat, and I just kind of realized, like how do you guys eat hamburgers? Check this out, seriously. I need the carnivores to talk to me. Also, I'm not a pretentious vegan. Do what you want, but check- She's not a pretentious vegan. So this is real meat or is this fake meat? Like, I'm kind of not do understanding. Do I just have a small mouth? Am I too vegan for this? How? That was actually good. You just saw me be a fake vegan because I just ate meat. It's true. So she actually did just eat real meat, she says. So why is she, okay, I mean, that's just not even being a fake vegan. That's not being a vegan. That's not even being a vegetarian. Watch me become a fake vegan. What, the end of the video? Oh my gosh. I don't know what 
is going on here, but I do know what is going on here in terms of getting views. I don't know, you know, whether this person is vegan. Obviously, she's trying to bait people to call her fake vegan. But I, what I really think is going on is she's trying to get clicks because I did the exact same thing with my fuzzbead video, my fake BuzzFeed video of a vegan try meat <laughs> for the first time and crying tears of joy, which was designed from the ground up to be a troll video where, of course, people would click and be like, I love seeing vegans fail. And then the rest of the video was talking about like the whole concept of people wanting to see vegans fail to feel better about themselves eating meat, which was, in my opinion, the ultimate troll part of that video. I'll link it below. It's pretty old, but uh, this is a lot like that. I have to read the comments here. Oh my God, can you see the comments? Uh, yeah, looking at the comments, the most liked comment, it says, girl, you can't eat any meat if you're vegan. So at least people are on the same page. Don't tell the vegan police he responds to. Uh, yeah, so she's just like trolling probably for views or, you know, was, I don't, I don't know. I don't know her story and I'm not going to look into it. It's not worth looking into. There are a couple of vegan shorts creators that I just wanted to highlight. One is... Hallie, I believe, Burns. And some seasoning. Making just delicious stuff, getting a ton of views. This has like 200,000 likes. And once it's crispy, I just top it with some pickle guac. Oh my it's gosh. The best flavor combo. Oh gosh. Yeah, I just fast forwarded to that because I want to get to the delicious end. And then another one we have is Fit Green Mind. Welcome to the really Student good. Gourmet Week. As you know, I am vegan, but one thing that held me back for a long time was German? my belief that vegan food is expensive. But once I started trying new things, I realized pretty quickly that I was wrong. If you know how, making basic vegan products like chickpeas, pasta, toast. I think you're getting the idea. I'll link both of those creators below. <laughs> So yeah, that was a bit of a mixed bag of shorts and it was, you know, kind of annoying that all of the most viewed ones, especially getting up around like 40 million views are all like vegan suck because of this. But I guess it makes sense when, you know, at least 90% of people are eating meat and they need to feel a little bit better about eating that meat. As you already know, good news about your bad habits. Um, yeah, frustrating that clips like that Joe Rogan one are still, you know, at the top of the list when you just search vegan in shorts, when it's, you know, a clip from, I think that was from 2018. But I did think it was entertaining to look at those. You never know what you're gonna get. I just like doing blind reaction videos, even though, as I always say, I can't give you as high quality of a response. It's still fun. And so let me know down below what you think about all these, if there are any good responses that I failed to think of. And of course, if you'd like to try Seeds DS01 Daily Symbiotic, then you can click the link below and use the code Mike at checkout for 25% off your first month's supply. All right, and of course, feel free to like, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next video, which will probably be more normal. All right.